Welcome to the Geekspace channel. So today we're going to look at MX Linux or Linux MX, I'm not sure which one, version 19. Uh, this is based on Debian, so let's go ahead and get to the installer here. Alright, it's coming up pretty quick here. This is using XFCE, so it's not using GNOME or KDE or anything like that, so it's pretty lightweight. So uh, this is going to be fun to test out. Alright, let's go straight into the installer here. Yeah, okay. Get through all this, and we're going to do an auto here. Yeah, that's fine. Go to next here. Do uh, LinuxGeek.lan. LinuxGeek there. And this is fine for me, so keep going. Alright. And next. Alright, so let's let the installer run here. All right, looks like it's just finishing up here. Let's get grub done, and then we should be rebooting right into the system. All right, we're going to go ahead and restart. Everything's looking good here. Wow, I'm digging the startup screen here. I like that. Let's see if we can go ahead and go to full screen now or if we need to wait. Alright. Get logged in. It's a little confused on the wallpaper. That's probably because of me going to full screen at an odd time there. Oh, there we go. All straightened out. So we got a little, what's this, a little guide here on how to use everything. That's pretty cool. Uh, we'll check that out later. So we're going to go ahead and put this on. All right. So let's check this out, see what the terminal looks like here. Nice. That looks really cool. I like the terminal. I like the transparency and everything. This looks like something I could just jump in and start coding on right away. All right, let's see what we got for the menu system. Let's see, so we got all applications are recently used, favorites. That's cool. Accessories here. Nice, nice. Development. Of course, we put our PHP Storm on there if it was for me. Got some games. It's already got GIMP. That's nice. Firefox transmission for downloading all your Linux distros. Thunderbird for your email. Hex chat for IRC. Cool. Let's see what we got here. Oh, Clementine. I like that. That's what I use for my music right now. GMTP, that's good for getting your pictures and songs and stuff like that on and off your phones if you're on Android. VLC player, nice. Let's see, they got tools here. You can just format your USB drive and everything. That's pretty cool, right right off the bat. I'm liking this. Let's see what we got for Office. Okay, LibreOffice, nice. Got a PDF reader there. Let's see, we got settings. What can we do with appearance? Anything cool? Let's see. Oh, wow. Nice. That's pretty cool. All right. Let's go with this Blackbird one here. Icons. Cool. I'm digging it. Let's go for the high contrast there. Fonts, we'll just leave that alone. All right, let's get back into here. Okay, looking cool, looking cool. Uh, let's see, what do we have under system? So we have our G parted for doing our partitions. Uh, let's see, there's some stuff down here that I didn't see. H top, which I love. Check that out. 
and it looks really really great on this transparency uh, let's go through here and see what else we got going on in the system let's see wow they really make things easy on this system I like that got your Samba settings right there and everything this doesn't look bad for even a new user I mean it's cool because it you can get like an elite feel to it right away but it looks like anybody could use this and that's kind of what you want nowadays with Linux I mean of course you know there's people like us that, that like to go in and configure everything by hand but it's nice to have something where you can just boot into it and any user can use it you know to get the user base going and build kind of a community around it so I like that it's respectable um, and of course this is based on Debian so we have our GW package installer also an MX package installer as well so let's take a look at the uh, disk usage analyzer that's always pretty cool go in here and see what's going on let it calculate Alright, and while that's going, let's go ahead and go into the MX Package Manager so you guys can check that out. So we'll log into that. But yeah, check this out in the background. So this is really cool. I love how this just goes through and shows you where all your problem areas are, like where you might be having too many files that you wouldn't have even noticed by just going through LS. So we'll get off of that. So let's see if we can just type in like Chrome or something here. Yeah, pretty cool check that off install and excuse the speed here I'm on hotel Wi-Fi I was actually planning on not doing any videos until we got our new place but uh, that's taken longer than expected so I figured I gotta release something for you guys and I apologize for the uh, delay on that I know it's been quite some time but uh, anyways this is pretty cool and I like also that you have your hard drive percentage for usage there your uh, memory percentage, CPU, and everything right here. I mean, it's pretty cool just right out the box, I gotta say. Very impressive. Now, like I said, this is just a video to just do a quick overview of the installation of this and check out kind of how it looks and everything like that. Um, I will be going deeper into this, uh, checking it out and seeing how everything runs, like screenshots and everything like that, and see if it's like, you know, pretty easy to use compared to other distributions. But uh, so far, I'm really happy with it. Now, this is, again, this is based on Debian, but I didn't say the version. This is based on Debian 10, so it's fairly new. It's got the new kernel and everything like that. Um, you can check that out here. I think we can see if we can do a shortcut. Yep. All right. So, of course, we can get a more up-to-date kernel on this if we do some updating, I'm sure. But uh, right now, this is just fresh out the box, and I'm very happy with that. So let's check out Firefox while that's going and while that's installing. Alright, let's see how everything is going here. Well, awesome, that loaded up nice and quick. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and close out of that. <clears throat> so you got a good general idea for what you're getting into here. This is really, really cool. I think everybody will enjoy this. Um, again, I'm going to go into more depth with this and check it out and go through all the system settings and stuff like that. Thanks for stopping past the Geekspace channel. We appreciate you, and I'll see you again soon.